Oh, excuse me. Yes? I'm trying to find a German doll. Me too, me too. Do you have any more in the back? <laughs> Hear me the snow, light up the trees, deck every hall, and while you can see, we'll roast every nut. Missile the toe, this needs to be the best Christmas, oh, the oh, original. 20,000 oh, years from now, say. The most successful Christmas was today. Okay, we got him. We got him. Yeah. This very special edition of Quit Stalling is brought to you by Jinx.com. Use the promo code Quit Stalling underscore 366 to get 10% off of your Christmas geek swag. Hearthstone shirts, Warcraft shirts, Starcraft shirts, Eagle Legend shirts, 10% off this Christmas. Use the promo code Quit Stalling underscore 366 at checkout and get 10% off. It's Quitsmas! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Quit Stalling Quitsmas special. Uh, how it's going to go today... Yeah, that's right, Gallard, really! No way. How it's going to go today is we're going to be recording a whole lot of shows in one day, and you, fine folks at home, are going to be getting them throughout the month of December. Uh, this is the very first Quitsmas episode. It's going to be episode 25 in the Quit Stalling chronology. Uh... What is it today? It's December 12th. Oh, no, it's December 8th, 2016. Mm-hmm. The year of our Lord, 2016. Um, Jesus is 2016 years old today. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not accurate, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not accurate. He was like 30 years old by that time. Uh, so, as, as, I have, <laughs> as I have on any show, uh, I have with me my co-host, Gallard Labares, the man with more radio experience than all of Quit Stallings podcast hosts combined. Hey, Gallard, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. I just finished an eight-hour grind for my Helix Horn. And for those who don't know what that is, I will not spoil it. But it took eight hours killing horses just to find. So I'm done. I am so done. Perfect. Done. Perfect. Uh, and like like in any quit stalling show, my mother is trying to call me in the middle of the show. You know, just when we start. Yeah. Uh, with, with us today. Mine too. Uh, I was uh, getting attacked. I was... <laughs> with us today uh, is special writer. Oh, well, not special writer. Anyway, he's a he's our he's our number one writer on the quit stalling uh, website. Damn, my mom is. Sorry, I mean, I'm, my mom I'm, is I'm pretty special here. too. Uh, Come on. Yeah, I mean, I'm not yeah, just yeah, number you're actually one. I'm pretty super special. special. Uh, Santiago Santa Cruz. Is joining us hey. on the talk show for the very first time. San, how you doing? What up? Oh, it's going great. I'm feeling festive. I'm ready to record as many episodes as we can in one day. Just get this done for Christmas spirit. Yes. Christmas spirit is the spirit we all need right now. Uh, can someone check? Someone mm-hmm. messaged on Skype, and I can't open Skype right now, or else it's going to show on our uh, on our interface. I don't know who messaged. but um, Let's check it out. Yeah, someone check uh, that for me. Uh, but Looks welcome like, everyone. Like I said, this yeah. is our Christmas special, or one one of our multiple Christmas specials. Uh, so I, it, it, you're gonna get a lot of Christmas content from us. And today, you know, th- this first show is is gonna be purely your regular talk show, more or less. Uh, everything else from here on out uh, after this show is gonna be just ridiculous. Um, so. Uh, I think I'm going to start off the show like we always do. I'm going to ask you guys what's been going on in your lives. Uh, Gallard, you, you already touched upon your Final Fantasy addiction uh, when, when I asked you how you're doing. So w- yeah. what have you been up to? Uh, first of all, I would just like to tell you that it took all of my willpower to be here today and not be in the land of Eos. So <laughs> I think pretty happy about that. We appreciate you know, it. 
for the past few days, it has been all about Final Fantasy 15. It's been crazy. I've been trying to get everything, and I'm already 40 hours in so far, but I'm on Ooh, the first map. First that- map. And I'm like, people on my wall are like, you know what? We're done with the game. I've finished it already. And I'm like, how the hell have you finished the game already? Why are you rushing on. through? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like there are about a billion side quests and an entire open world in the game, and you're down with it. I'm like, yo, give me that CD. I'll break it in half. You don't deserve to play an RPG. Those people are not your friends, Gallard. No, they're <laughs> not my friend. If you like Final Fantasy in like less than 40 hours... You gotta, you gotta rethink your life decisions, buddy. Seriously. That's right. That's right. And uh, yeah. I feel the same way. Uh, I don't rush through games as well. It took me a couple of a couple of months to get to level cap in Warcraft. I, uh, it took me the whole of high school to get through the Warcraft three campaign. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that that one wasn't on purpose. Uh, and. I'm still on the first island of Pokemon Moon. So I, I'm on the same boat, man. I'm on the same boat. That's great, man. You stay there, get your Pokedex up to like 100, then move. And then move. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that's, San, that's basically me right now. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. San, man, what have you been up to? Uh, this is the first. This is your first time on the show, and you know we've never really talked on the show. So what, what have you been up to? Uh, well, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, what have I been up to? I've just been doing uh, some freelance writing work, been putting some good content out on our website, people. If you're listening, go go check out those articles. Uh, we spend a lot of time picking out and curating which ones we're going to write, and they're pretty sweet. Uh, definitely worth a read. we got another one coming out here soon, um, and we're going to try to get some Star Wars-based stuff in there, uh, so we have a lot of good content. Uh, as for my personal life... I am uh, jealous of Gallard because I have yet to play Final Fantasy XV. Oh, um, man. I gotta, pick, I gotta pick that shit up, man. I gotta pick it up. Um, Most definitely. Actually, as far as gaming, um, I've been playing my 3DS, but not playing uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, I've there are those. Other games? Yeah, there I know, other games? right? I know. Uh, I am a loyalist to my Animal Crossing. I picked it back up like oh, two nice. months ago and I just non-stop playing it. Uh, whenever I get a chance to play Animal Crossing, I'll just put, pick it up and play it for like an hour and then put it down and then do some writing or some work and then like an hour later, just fast forward a day and do the exact same. I think I'm like two years into the future probably by now in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just, you know, it's like fast forward a day. Um, yeah, and also okay. playing King's Quest. If you guys ever... Heard of that one or playing that? Played that one? I have heard of King's Pretty Quest. S- oh, it's awesome! It's a mini man. game on Final Fantasy. <laughs> 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 no kidding! Oh, it is. Man. Are you serious? Yeah, they play this game oh, wow. like when you you'll you'll figure it out when you get the game. But they constantly talk about this King's Quest game. I'm like, what is King's Quest? Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Um, yeah, it's also like at a point and click like adventure type game. Yeah, if I'm not Pretty mistaken, uh, when I interviewed Koji Igarashi during ESGS 2016, uh, developer of yes. Bloodstained and uh, Castlevania, uh, he was talking about how he plays King... If, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, King's Quest is a game he plays when he just wants to sit back and relax. Oh, it's it's really... It's like a giant puzzle um, for the most part, and it's one of those games where every consequence, uh, you know, it comes back to haunt you or it comes back to reward you. So you just really have to X. be like, yeah, you just gotta, <laughs> you just gotta take your time and think things through. And uh, all the puzzles are really obscure, but once you find it out, you're like, God, God, I'm a genius, man. I'm so smart, I'm so <laughs> rewarding, man. Like, oh man, uh, so it really strokes, suggest it. Strokes your ego, huh? That's great. Oh yeah, for sure. It's episodic <laughs> though, so uh, to buy it. Or to play it, you either have to buy individual episodes or just buy the whole pack. I think all five chapters are out now, and uh, they're doing a they're doing a prologue later on uh, in the next couple months. So, is worth a look if you're if you're bored. Yeah, uh, I downloaded it on Black Friday uh, for super cheap on the PS Network, 
PlayStation oh, Network, snap. and uh, yeah, got all five chapters. And I've beaten all five chapters now. I'm just waiting for the prologue. Snap, that's okay. awesome. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Sweet. All right, so uh, what I've been up to is I've been scrambling to get Quitsmas done. Uh, <laughs> Not yeah. not only are we doing a whole series of shows. I, I did a I did a couple with uh, with Diego Z and our other new writer, Sa- uh, not San Justin. Uh, we did a couple episodes of Game Bite, and I've also been trying to arrange the Christmas uh, Christmas party 2016 happening this weekend. So I'm, I'm scrambling to do that. Gallery is not yet RSVP, so I'm waiting for that. You better no, you better be there, out, man. Uh, What's no, I kind of have that? a problem because before that invite was sent, I kind of already said yes to a Christmas party happening on, on the tenth. But I'm gonna juggle it. So let's I've see. heard that before. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a unicorn. Before. You know, you just—it's hard to spot me. Mr. Popularity. All right. And, uh, it's, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. So yeah, it's, it's just all Christmas all the time. Getting ready to, for the holiday season. Uh, so, uh, speaking of the holiday season, I should play some bed music while we, actually, no, we're going to transition here. We're going to transition to the news. Do we have Yay. anything else to talk about? Let's, let's, I think, I think we should just hop straight into the news. Let's do it. Let's do it. News, let's do please. it. Here we go. Some news. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Oh, good news, everyone. I did not fix the cameras for the browser. Uh, so while I do that. Uh, hold on. While, while I do we that, talk. someone talk about Spider-Man: Homecoming real quick while I fix the ca- while I fix the cameras. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's easy, you know. It's Spider-Man: Homecoming. It's it's all about prom, right? <laughs> okay. Gosh, like, they're gonna have a dance. <laughs> uh, well, man, uh, San, you 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 were writing about the the teaser trailer I'm we got, kidding. aren't you? <laughs> well, when it. Not the teaser trailer. I was actually going to wait until um, the actual trailer drops. Because if I were to write an article for the teaser trailer, the only thing I would write, I would just make it super small. And about one hashtag, just hashtag web wings. And then oh, I would yeah, just dude, the, the web wings. Like, the web wings. Those are pretty Those cool, OG. man. Yeah, OG Spider-Man. It's going to be sweet. I got to be honest. <laughs> I didn't think it would work when I first heard the rumors. Uh, yeah. I'm hearing a lot of fan. <laughs> you might want to turn your fan down. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, not oh, you, Sen. Not you, Sen. Just Jay. Just Jay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We're good then. Uh, we're, we're getting Jay. It's a good thing Jay called because I can fix his camera while we're while this mess is happening. <laughs> okay. Jay, turn on your camera, man. Turn on your camera. Wait, 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 wait. I am fixing this. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So yeah, dude, the web wings, man. I was surprised yeah. at how how seamless they looked. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I really try to stay away from all forms of trailers of movies because I just like to walk into a movie theater and be genuinely surprised. And uh, I try to stay away. That's why I don't have a Twitter. It's because I try to stay from, like, late-breaking news um, and on stuff like that. But I, it, was, it was inescapable. And when I saw the web wings, I was like, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty badass, uh, which I think is, like, kind of divisive because a lot of people think it's, it looks cheesy. But, you know... It, it's how he was made. It's the first Classic, costume man. he had. Yeah, exactly. So you can't even really say anything. Exactly. I'm exactly. At Jay. They do it well. You know, it, it doesn't look ugly. Yeah, it doesn't look so bad. Uh, we only really have one good look at it so far. But, I mean, it's not like it's the plot point of the movie. Uh, it's just something that was emphasized in the trailer, right? So, yeah, I don't know. should be, should be um, yeah, like you said, it should be like a seamless integration of the web wings. And it's not like they really serve a function. It's just stylistic. <laughs> yeah. Can he yeah, glide but... like Spider-Woman? Spider-Woman can glide with the web wings. That's true. But can't she just like fly in general? I don't remember. Yeah, I know, I know Spider-Woman. Can. She, can just, she can just glide down. That's, that's oh, spiders okay. can't fly. Right. If, they glide. if they're really light, they can float down. They can fall with style, as, Bu- as yeah. Buzz Lightyear has, uh, has taught us. <laughs> there you go. That's a good yeah, way to put so it. I, I, I do have a screenshot of the web wings he, over here, and it, yeah, and, and his yeah. and Tom Holland's butt, his underage That's a nice butt. butt. Yeah, That's a nice uh, butt. yeah, he's only fifteen, but still like that. <laughs> oh, he's only fifteen. I, re- I retract my statement. I think so. No, 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 no I'm not sure. I think in the real character life, he's he not. Yeah. Is fifteen. Oh, okay. So technically, okay. we're looking at a fifteen-year-old 
in character, but but he's 20 years old. All we're right. good. We're good then. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Back we're good. on the table. Back on the table. Back on the table. <laughs> uh, so. Jay, I want to hear your thoughts on on the teaser that we got with the uh, Happy Hogan and the whatnots. I am waiting for the trailer. I haven't I haven't opened the teaser yet. Oh, good okay. For, good for you, dude. I'm because impressed. I I don't want I don't want to get spoiled. Yeah. yeah, good for you. All right, that is right. something we should all be proud of. Not opening <laughs> things on internet that we regret. Yeah. <laughs> just, just like Wait, is, is, it, is it bad? Is it bad? It's like yeah, seven I mean, seconds, man. It's not. <laughs> It's it's an actual teaser, unlike the the two minute teasers we've been getting from other studios. You know, it's yeah, two minute teaser. Yeah, I, I don't like I don't like getting teased. Yeah, like. <laughs> well, uh, you know, right now I can make it cr- happen. Crossing some dangerous territory here. We're gonna move on. <laughs> We're gonna move on really me, fast and seamless. Look at me right now. I'm like sandwiched between two white guys. Bring it on. All right, All right. as seamless as I can make this. Uh, Karen Gillen. T- oh, I love her. <laughs> Karen Gillen on Instagram has uh, has revealed this photo uh, with a caption, Nebula makeup test before I fly back to Scotland to dive into a Tupperware party. Uh, mm-hmm. First of all, I, I have not heard of Tupperware party. Uh, all right. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's an actual movie and not just something she does in her spare time. But Tupperware. No, no I, I think it's I think it's it's practically potluck. Like everyone just brings their own thing. Okay, yeah, but it says in, Tupperware, in Tupperware Party Tupperware. movie. Yeah, and it's it's oh. it's a proper noun. They're capitalized. So, uh, I, I I'm hoping it's a movie. And yeah, but aside from that, uh, people have speculated because the reshoots and all the Guardians of the Galaxy filming has been done. So people are speculating that this might just be for the Avengers, uh, upcoming Avengers movies. And oh. people have gotten their, their hopes really high for this. And I can't blame them, you know, because the reshoots are done. So, and the movie's coming out soon. So I, I, I don't doubt it. Well, hmm. you, know, you, you know Karen Gillen. She is 20% mystery and 80% legs. Yes, That's- exactly. <laughs> you know, she's a Scottish actress and a former model. And mm-hmm. wow, did she really wow. used to do a model? skit? She used yeah, to do a skit show did. before Doctor Who. That's oh, it's so she? amazing. What can't she and do? <laughs> sit Dance. down on sit down on a <laughs> Japanese uh, restaurant, but you know, aside from that, like also she's a uh, co-starring in an upcoming Jumanji film. Oh wow! Yes, she is with a. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and, uh, you know, my boy, uh, listen here. Kevin Hart. Uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart Kevin. is my boy. All right. <laughs> Bam. Kevin Hart. Bam. Jumanji. Kevin Hart and Jumanji. Jumanji. Dude, I've, yeah, I've he's seen. Gonna be, he's going to be the little monkey boy. Hey, I've seen whoa. <laughs> the Rock's going to pull his tail out of his shorts. Like, <laughs> what's wrong? I, I have wow, a tail. Wham. Bam. Man, The Rock is like everywhere, man. Well, Dude, The Rock like is everywhere is now. Like, it's everywhere in music. It's like, I don't understand what's going on. Sean Nepal. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kevin Hart. I've seen photos of Kevin Hart riding uh, on a backpack on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's back. Like, those are set photos. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It sounds oh ridiculously God. good. I'm going to try and look for that. While, oh, no. no I'm going to try and look for that while we talk. But uh, is anyone else excited for what, you know, what Karen, before we, before we move on with Karen Gillan, you know, uh, what, what kind of a cast we could get for the uh, for the upcoming Avengers movies? Because you know it's probably going to be really huge. Yeah, I'd like to know how they're going to divide screen time uh, when that all happens. <laughs> it's going to be nice. I agree. <laughs> they're going to pay so I, much. I, I, I want to see if some of the TV people cross over. That's what I really want. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but then some the of that screen Chloe time Bennett. becomes even more. Yeah. It gets even more <clears throat> convoluted. A unified unified marvel universe for once yeah yeah you're right because um not only do we want to see the abc series uh characters we also want to see the netflix characters show up mm-hmm. yeah so, yeah like the kids from stranger things like they can be <laughs> you know the twins or something wrong netflix series but i like your spunk <laughs> i like the idea good job uh, <laughs> you got spunk kid 
<laughs> yes, fun kid. We could use you. We could use you hey, in Hollywood. You know, um, just trying to be real. <laughs> just trying to be real. I was actually thinking that a good idea, to, a good way to, a good way to. In, what? Yes, wait, go ahead. Go ahead. A good way to, a good way to in, include the Netflix heroes would be, um, while the, it, it happened in a comic before. I think it happened in Secret War, or was it Infinity? Where, um, while Infinity happened, in Infinity. While everyone was out in space, some people were forced to defend Earth from a surprise invasion. Because they thought that the war was, like, way, way far away. Mm. Um... So what if no heroes are left in New York? None of the Avengers are there. So the Netflix heroes are forced to get together and defend New York. That would make sense, but then we'd still not get any shared screen time, which would be slightly disappointing. Yeah. No, they could show, like, a little ten-minute thing, I guess. Like, okay. oh, thanks for taking care of the Earth for us, bro. Uh, peace. Then they fly away. And they fly away. <laughs> oh, away! Oh, yeah. I still think the kids from Stranger Things would do a better job defending New York, so. I, yeah. I kind of oh. don't doubt that. I mean, yeah. you know, they could play D&D <laughs> and just, you know, just sit around. I mean, I what's think... out there, though? If we're going to do, like, Netflix crossovers, why don't we start sending the villains to, like, the same prison as the cast from Orange is the New Black? <laughs> and just really get the whole Netflix, like, line up there. Like, I'm Jessica, Jones, yeah, dude. Jessica I'm Jones could break in to prison. The, uh, but I, 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 need, I, need, I, need, I need to see Eleven from Stranger Things with uh, Nebula okay. and Rip Hunter from CW, though. Oh, God. So we'd, we'd, the pretty, puns. Much, we'd pretty much get... Doctor and, Who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going man. on? I don't know. It's crazy. Oh yeah, but yeah, it, it's 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 crazy to think that, um, you know, we're we're getting something this this big, because you know, back in high school a couple of years ago, we we could only imagine and we could only dream ago. a couple of years ago. <laughs> We could, oh, sorry. We could, we could only imagine and dream of some, something this big, you know, a crossover this big, because, yeah, it was unheard of. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I remember, getting something. I remember, I remember freaking out so much just see, seeing the shield heli- heli- carrier for the first time. <laughs> and yeah. now we have, like, we, we've gotten past that point, like, so much already. Yeah, the shield heli- heli- carrier is, like, yesterday's news now. That's how, that's how spoiled mm-hmm. we are. Yeah. With, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's just right, I got S-O-P a shot of it. I got a point. shot of The Rock Ooh. and Kevin Hart riding oh my his God. back. <laughs> <laughs> he's this like a little boy scout. Ever seen him. Wait, he's like a little boy scout. shooting that? Where are they shooting this movie? I have Looks no like idea. I got, I got a... Okay. Wait, no, not that one. Oh, <laughs> God. That's <laughs> Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're filming in Hawaii. They're filming in Hawaii. Oh, uh, hey! Yeah. Like Moana was in Hawaii, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, she was. Uh, she wasn't exactly Hawaiian. She was. Uh, what, what did they Polynesian. call it? Polynesian. Yeah. Okay. I think. I think. Um, Karen, I was about to say Amy Pond. Karen Gillan's Hawaiian. Then. Why? Yeah, but why? You know, it's why is she on, Hawaiian? Like, Hawaii because because if Emma Stone, if Emma Stone was Hawaiian in in that movie, <laughs> what Karen movie was Gillen that again? Was um. I forgot, man. Is that the one? Are you talking about the one with uh, Bradley Cooper? Bradley Cooper, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god, I, I I completely burned that movie out of my mind. Me too. I, I never saw it, but I, I saw it on net. Like it's on the list of movies on Netflix, and I mm-hmm. was like, oh, that's a lot of good people in that movie. Why is the rating so low? I don't know. Yeah. I think I uh, think it's because of the the whole thing where, like. They could have gotten like a legit Hawaiian instead of Emma Stone, who does not look native. Is not the island far like the farthest things I could think of. She looks like mm-hmm. a native of Scotland. That'd be like casting me to play Wesley Snipes in a Wesley mm. Snipes movie. Like that's just not I gonna would, work out. I would pay to see that. <laughs> I, I, I really I, want a Blade for it. It just has to happen, man. That's that's been dying to see that sure. if it happens who is she who the right to still play? together with spider-man i think it's still marvel i think marvel oh, okay. has the rights to blade back okay maybe one day maybe one day maybe one day you- well, well wesley snipes doesn't look 
on Wesley Snipes. Like, so. <laughs> so while he still looks like Blade, yeah. Oh, Fair man. enough. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, like people give credit to to the Spider-Man uh, Sam Raimi movie, uh, mm. being like where where things got kickstarted for for the cinematic universe and you know the X Men movies, but no one yeah. ever gives credit to Blade. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. It's overlooked for sure. And uh, it, it's a shame. It's a shame. Wasn't Ryan Reynolds in like the second one? Second the Blade. Third one. He, he third was one. on the third one. Yeah. I gotta <laughs> see that. I gotta see the third Blade. That yeah, I don't. A... I don't think I've ever seen the third Blade. Any? I was. Oh really? Yeah. I don't. I think I'm mixing and matching them. I can't even remember it. That was the first time I saw Ryan Reynolds uh, without a pizza place involved. Mm, yeah. And, uh, oh, I'm holding a remote control. I was very Close satisfied. Wait. Did Deadpool have a pizza place? Deadpool did not have a pizza place. He had a bar uh, and a, a granny's house. No pizza place. Uh, <laughs> but, but moving on. Moving on from our topic of, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because we'll be talking a lot about that uh, in a different show for Quitsmith. Uh, in, in more news, we're getting a Will Ferrell... Uh, we're getting a Will Ferrell movie about esports. Hey, yes. it's the guy from Red Hot Chili Peppers. It is. The <laughs> Chad, uh, no, it's Whiplash too. It's <laughs> needs needs more cowbell. Needs more cowbell. <laughs> needs more cowbell. So uh, Will Ferrell to star in esports movie, and ESPN says it'll have similarities with the role he had in Talladega Nights. Oh so, hell yeah. I can't wait for this. Have you ever wondered what a what a fifty year old, sixty year old esports player would look like? This is the face of esports. Uh, I guess That's I could see that. Yeah. Esports veteran. I think we we, we just had to absorb that for a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just know, staring at the photo. The, the crazy thing is, I talked about this on Game Bite with with, uh, with Diego Z and Justin. Uh, when you're like 25, you're considered old in esports. So imagine how old you'd be considered. Yeah, man. Bad knees. Yeah, bad knees. Yeah, bad knees <laughs> you know, uh, wrist problems. That 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 back surgery is really starting to bite you now. You know. Your reflexes are slow. You know. Shit. That that uh that limp eye is starting to hurt every now and. Then. <laughs> 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 so. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. I mean, of course, we're going to see John C. Riley uh, <laughs> somewhere in this movie. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, we might get a little shake and bake. Maybe. Magic man. It's a magic man. Oh, man. Can, can, can we get some Sasha Brand going? Some oh, say, dude. Movie? Hello, dude. Hello, movie. <laughs> oh, Jay. Imagine the potential. If we're getting The Rock uh, and Will Ferrell doing a wrestling TV show... I I do not mind Will Ferrell uh, in a esports movie. You know, the sky's the limit for the for this guy. Looking at this picture, though, I just want to hear anything. him say, "I just want to hear him say, this is Brazil, this is Brazil." But <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will Ferrell is Mugatu, right? Will Ferrell yeah. is Mugatu. That is right. That is right. Yes. I I cannot unsee Mugatu like. <laughs> Well, I mean, oh, he was also Elf, you know, and it is mm. Christmas time. So. Oh, wait, let me bring up a photo of that. Elf movie, yeah. That, that's My something I should read. Like, it's like nothing when, like... When Zoe Deschanel wasn't the hipster queen yet. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, she was, she yeah, was mainstream so at that true. point. She was just, that's... who's that girl? Not, who's, who's that girl? That? It's Jess. It's just, <laughs> isn't she, now she's new girl, right? Yeah. And now she's, now she's so, just... So, kind of kind of um old girl now. It's all the summers, man. Went straight to her head. Wait, yeah, we're talking about new girl. Um, how is that show? I have not seen it in the longest time. Oh my god. How That's is the true. crossover? Is what I am wondering. The crossover was like five seconds, dude. What? Yeah, the crossover with Brooklyn Nine Nine. That was it. Was five seconds. It was they. I, I got too hyped over it. It was just them running into each other in a cab. That was it. And we had a we had a whole episode all about that, man. I know, right? <laughs> it was it was disappointing. 
I was, I was trying to sweep it under the rug, but thanks for bringing it up. So, yeah. <laughs> How can you split it like that? It's it's not possible. He learned from Van Damme. He learned Let from Jean-Claude Van Damme. This, try. this is his esports pose. Uh, oh my. Guys, it hurts. I'm doing it. Oh, oh, go fuck. Go Gallard. Go, go Gallard. Go for it. You got it. You got it. All right. While Gallard is attempting uh, the splits. Uh, yeah. Simultane- simultaneously tearing every fiber in his legs. Uh, one thing I did want to bring up on this show was we are two days away from from the White Rabbit Project on Netflix. So for those of you unfamiliar, we've talked about this on the show before. The White Rabbit Project uh, is, is a show that's starring Mythbusters alums. Uh, Carrie Byron uh, in the center, Tori Bellacci on the right, and Grant Imahar on the left. They will be tackling... Uh, the, well, I like Carrie's explanation because they were on Nerdist Live earlier on I today. I like Carrie. Uh, yeah, I like Carrie as well. She's, she's the reason why I started watching Mythbusters. Uh, yeah. But enough about that. Uh, you know, uh, the, White Rabbit, but that, yeah, the White Rabbit Project uh, is supposedly... Uh, what happens when you look at the internet and try to search for one thing, and then you end up like spending an hour just like going down the rabbit hole? So that's pretty much what they're doing. Oh. That's like and, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, it's a weird concept, right? It's a weird way to describe a show. You find some really awkward things on YouTube when you do that. That's yeah, true. but the last one for me was uh, Indian pole dancing. That's I've, I've found way worse by accident, just clicking their own. By ac- guys, you gotta stop saying by accident. No, I mean, no, for you. <laughs> at some point, the, the words just start typing I, themselves. I have a pretty, I have a pretty high threshold of what is weird. But then, if I had to just go, no, no, fuck this. Like, that's, that's when you know it's really weird. I mean, Jay, when, when it comes up on your suggestions uh, on the YouTube homepage, you've been typing some pretty random stuff. <laughs> I have. It's, not, it's not random, man. But. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Gallard is, has finally admitted that he he does type random words into YouTube. I, I do, and I click on random things. The weirder it is, the more fun it'll be. So I just keep on keeping on, you know. Yeah, Ga- go, go Gallard. To, go to uh, yeah. Yeah, I've I've, but, I've I've seen Gallard's search history, man. Man Panion, twenty sixteen. Like I don't I don't know what these what these things are. I was searching Never. that for you. <laughs> you wanted to be my man Panion. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Well, well. But yeah, uh it used to be Jay. It used to be... <laughs> but it's over now. For now. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't do that. Yeah, we, we should. <laughs> uh, what is this? <laughs> and I, I uh before we move on, before we move on cuz I have I have something I really really interesting and uh, geeky that isn't, you know, pop culture related. Uh, I want to talk about something that Jay linked me the other the other week. Uh, I think it was. Let me bring it up here on on the Facebook. Uh, Make sure that's safe for everyone to see. Ya. Ooh, SFW. Oh SFW. yeah. yeah that so one. Uh, we got some Star Trek Discovery casting uh, the other week. So we got some uh, super super crop. But uh, Michelle Yeoh. Uh, Jay, are the rumors true that she will be the captain? I heard actually, the rumor I heard was that she wasn't she was just gonna be in a recurring role. Okay. But I haven't really read up on it yet so far. All right, that, that's Pretty. fine. That's totally fine. But um, the, the that was interesting for me. But actually, the more interesting casting for me was Rent Anthony Rapp. Anthony Rapp, yeah. The uh, last where, TV what? show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anthony Rapp was that last guy that you saw on the screen. <gasps> uh, he is be, he's gonna be cast. As a regular on Star Trek Discovery, and mm-hmm. I've never seen him as a regular on a show. Yeah, just uh, hope he's not a red shirt. Oh, well, depending on the what? era, <laughs> you know, we might want him to be a red shirt. I mean, Picard oh, was true. a red shirt. If yeah, it's, so. yeah, that is the line. Not that any is, further. No further. There are four raps. Uh, so Anthony Rapp is going to be on the show. Uh, the last time I saw him on TV was back in Psych when he made a guest appearance on their musical episode. Mm. So I'm really psyched for this. I just want I just want <laughs> Captain I just want <laughs> Captain to go like set phasers on and then he goes, <laughs> We don't wanna phase. We don't <laughs> wanna phase. <laughs> we don't wanna phase. <laughs> don't wanna phase. <laughs> that's Borg that's Borg guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
journey. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I just so I just watch Rent. A uh, good movie that Rent. Uh, mm-hmm. And the only way you can see it now because it's not on Broadway anymore. Yeah, I mean one one other Rent album is doing really really well in uh like a fan favorite geeky show and that's um Collins. He is in the Flash, right? Yes. Yes, the actor who played Collins in Rent is Joe yeah. on The Flash. So if you if you have been wondering the past three years where he why he looks so familiar, that's why. <laughs> yeah, and let's if you're, not forget. And if you're, yeah. Go, Gallery, go, go. No, I, now it slipped my mind. That Man. girl from Heroes was was also from Rent. Which Wait, girl which from girl Heroes? from Heroes? The. You know the one that could poison, like uh, make you bleed black out of your eyes. From she the first season? Huh? Yeah, she's from Red. She's Mimi. Wait, is no, it Mimi? No, yeah. no, she wasn't. That's Rosario Dawson, and she's in Daredevil. No, she's in. No, she's, she was also in Heroes, right? No, that Rosario wasn't. Dawson. All right, while we're yeah. googling this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix Jay's camera. The girl well. you're talking about ended up. Playing Callisto in X Men: The Last Stand. Are you for really? Am I getting yeah. it all mixed up now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she wasn't in the ring. <laughs> Last thing I want to say about Collins in the I mean, Flash. I mean, in uh, you know, never mind. <laughs> Last thing I want to say about Collins in the Flash is it makes you think of how Barry pays rent. <laughs> Does he pay in a thousand kisses? That's. that's oh, that's good saying. lord. There's some pretty sick references we got going on here. <laughs> I hope you're proud uh, of yourself. Got, um, I've been wa- I've been watching okay. Mystery Science Theater 3000. There's so the references are just Whoa. like there. That, that's all I can do. If if there's something I say that isn't a reference, it just feels really off at this point. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's the, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, going back real quick to to Star Trek. Uh, the Let's girl who played uh, the white girl in in the most recent Star Trek movie, uh, not not white by race. Uh, I'm talking about white skin. Yeah, I, oh, I, God, I, I remember. I remember. Uh, she was also in Kingsman. <laughs> uh, can someone help me out. Someone, she was also in Kingsman. Uh, name, she had like blades on her feet. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, that girl. Yeah, so that girl, she's she's gonna be in the Mummy movie. The the new mummy oh, yeah. movie with uh Thomas Thomas oh, Cruise, you you guys Thomas, might Thomas know Cruise. him, uh Thomas, Thomas Cruise, Cruise. In, indie actor extraordinaire Thomas Cruise. Even his name. I know, right? I think it's pronounced uh, Thomas. Actually, Thomas. Yeah, yeah, he's right. It's Thomas. <laughs> Thomas Cruise. Yeah, um, I I was super surprised when when I found out Tom Cruise was gonna be in, uh, the new mummy movie, and I I am wondering where Brendan Fraser is. I, he has not been in work for at least 10 years now. I don't think yeah, anyone he, knows. He's still stuck in the center of the earth. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot about that. The rock didn't even bother to find he, him. I think he wants everyone to forget about that at this point. <laughs> this is from the, the Mummy movie, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I just like literally opened the wiki page and it says it's starring Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. I think what they're planning to do with this is they're planning to connect it with all the other Universal movies. Universal monsters. Yeah, they are. Like, so, yeah. like, Tom Cruise is going to be in every single one. Like, Dracula, um, the Wolfman, he's going to be in Creature everything. from Plaque Lagoon. Yes, I'm so excited for that. Maybe we'll wow. get the blob. Tom or, Cruise. Uh, or Manus, yes. the Hands of Fate. My, oh, Manus, oh, Hands of Fate! Oh my god. The, the worst movie ever, uh, according to uh, Ted Mosby. Uh, I would say that the room, my master. the room oh, yeah. is still first. If you've ever seen the room, uh, I don't know. Which room I think, are we I talking think... about? Not room, not room. My room, Larson. The room with uh. Oh well, hi, Mark. Like so. well, hi, doggy. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I lost your camera feed. So for those of you watching at home, you're seeing a little bunch of swirly circles. That is normal. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm actually seeing a still frame right now. Same here. Oh. 
That's fine. I, we'll, I, I look like I'm staring into the distance. That's what I'm seeing. That could we're, be we're like, a, like a rock album cover. We're powering through it. We're powering through it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, we're powering through it. Uh, let's see. What else What else do we got uh, in terms of the yes. news? I think that's it. I think we're good. Are we good with the news? Anything else? Hmm. Um, hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, real quick, before before we move on, uh, I mean, before we go uh, and record the next episode, uh, stem cell guns. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this. It, it's on the Mashable. Let me let me bring up a, a video. Is this real a new quick. DLC? This is a new DLC in the in the latest Assassin's Creed uh, stem cell guns. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Five stem I cell guns. I actually thought this would yeah. be like a medical revolutionary yeah, thing. Yeah, I you thought know. you were being, I thought you were talking about real life applications here. I actually I like, think he is. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's, there's, you guys, you guys aren't I'm seeing it. Confused. Tomas uh, Cruz confused me. <laughs> Tomas. <laughs> actually pronounced See, Cruce. You, you guys oh, aren't yeah. seeing it, but um, there's a <laughs> video playing right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, people are using this, this weird uh, gun. It, it looks like a hot glue gun, pretty much. And yeah. they're using it to to reinject or like apply uh, st- st- stem cells onto people's skin, uh, you know, burn victims, people like that. And in in no time at all, the the skin is is regenerating and it looks normal without any scar tissue. Wow, it is ridiculous how how technology has gotten us this far. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, I'm just playing the video on loop. You guys can watch this after. <laughs> I think we can. I think, I think we can go. After. I think we can go deeper the next time we go with like a sick burn. We could just be like, "Oh, you need a stem cell gun because you got burned." Really, yeah, bad. I like that. <laughs> I like that. As long as I like that actually. Air horn, the DJ air horn sound effect somewhere. <laughs> <in> the- <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, that that, that is so annoying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on local radio everywhere. But it, it is the best noise. Stem cell like, guns are on local burn. radio? What? Not stem cell guns. Gun. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm the like, horn. The, the horn effect. Oh, oh the, the horn, horn effect. See, guys. Yeah. I don't... <sighs> it's fine. It's fine, Gallagher. It's fine. Um, Real quick, before we go, because uh, we're going to go soon for, for this first episode... Uh, can you guys try restarting your cameras? Because I, I wanna, I wanna end the show with you guys on it. <laughs> okay. Can we try and get you guys on? There. Try restarting your camera real quick. Is it back on? Are your yeah, cameras back it on? Work? It's dark. It's dark. Um. <laughs> I do not see you guys. No, it's not. It's not working. Uh, hey, who turned out the lights? Who turned out the lights? Lights. Mm. Uh. Well, I think this is fine. You know. We'll, we'll end it like this, uh, and if you guys want to see the oh. faces of, of San, Jay, and Gallard, you're just going to have to tune into the next episode. Hey. Harold, you should play Black Beatles. Play what? Black Beatles. What is Black Beatles? You know, because it's a still frame. We can just do the mannequin challenge. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Gosh. You know what? You know what? I'm... With, 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 with the one with Kim Cattrall? <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus! Uh, all right, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go yeah. for this episode. That's it. That's it for the first episode, the first Quitsmas episode ever. Thank you guys so much. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna play some music. I'm gonna play us out. All right, here we go. All right, uh, Jay. I haven't done this in a long time. Jay, where can the fine folks at home find you when you're not on Quit Stalling the Talk Show? For for all the Janiacs out there. You know. <laughs> 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 oh, what oh, God. Wait. Janiac. Oh, Wait. 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 <laughs> we need video for this. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been waiting, I've been waiting to make that joke for like a few weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> wrote it down, just been counting down the days. And yeah, I was trying to make sure I couldn't forget it. That caught me so off guard. <laughs> <laughs> pass. I passed to the next guy. <laughs> now you you gotta tell <laughs> you gotta tell the Daniac where they can reach you. Follow quit stalling. That's all I'm saying for now. Okay. We'll be there. Um. 
Gallard. <laughs> uh, let, let's show them how it's done. Where can the fine folks at home find you when you're not on quit stalling the talk show? <laughs> Christ. Did I see what he said? <laughs> I want that too! <laughs> so good. I'm I can't J anything! <laughs> I can't! Uh, you to find me. You can find me on Twitter, it's at Gallard Owns, and on Instagram, at Gallard the Virus. And if I awesome. throw a oh, you guys I got you guys back. back! Hey, we're back! You're back! You're back! All the Janiacs! All the Janiacs oh, did it! <laughs> they did it! <laughs> oh god! Oh, that's yeah, so there good! Go. Usually, I'm... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, dude! Like, we missed out on all the camera reactions! Did I break uh, you guys? I think I broke you guys! <laughs> you you yeah. fixed the show! <laughs> That, that's like, I can't say anything. Nothing can top Janie. <laughs> uh, I got Dude, one. you, you oh, fixed the like... show. All right, uh, San, San, where can the folks at home find you when you're not on Quit Stalling? Well, much like the Janiacs, uh, the Synatics. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he did it. He got it. I... Right there, right there. Uh, <laughs> Cheers. Love it. Cheers to that. Oh. Um, I have you can one. Find me on I gave a moose a muffin on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so good. The, the end of the show is better than the actual show. Gallard, <laughs> do it. What do you What do you want to say? Oh my Gallard Nation fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Oh no, Skype stopped working. This is not good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Skype back on. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to find me on the interwebs, you can head on over to Harold Plays on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, where else? Uh, I'm on Twitch, but I, I'm, not, I'm not really on Twitch yet. But you can find me there in the future. Uh, I'm just trying to get Skype back on. Uh, follow us on Quit Stalling. So uh, head on over to Facebook, facebook.com slash quit stalling us or quit stalling us. Um, gosh, dang, I'm, I'm typing and talking at the same time. Uh, what else? Uh, head on over to SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash quit stalling. Uh, oh my gosh, I gotta get the call back. Oh, my hip is hurting for some reason because of all the laughing. I'm gonna try and get them back and play the music again. But, uh, yeah, head on over to quit stalling.us for all our links, all our social media links, all of that. Uh, find us on Instagram, instagram.com slash quit stalling. Gallard broke the show. Uh, Twitter.com <laughs> slash quit stalling US much, or at quit much stalling like Kim us. Kardashian's ass. Much like Kim Kardashian's ass, Gallard broke the show. Hey! Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, Gallard, you did. Uh, yeah, uh, iTunes, please leave us a five star review on iTunes for more Quit Smith specials. You're gonna get it throughout December. What is that? Oh my god, it just got ghetto in quit stalling. James, turn your music down! Uh, we are and we are ending the first show, bro. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I I, I came prepared. I have a five man interface from from the early days of quit stalling. We, we got this. We well, <laughs> your names are <laughs> misarranged. It's fine. Let me get through this. <laughs> um, YouTube, search for quit stalling and you will find all our videos there. Uh, head on over to www.quitstalling.us. You can find Sans articles, my articles, all the new writers' articles. You can find all our podcasts, all our videos there. Please check that out. www.quitstalling.us. That's it for the first Quitsmith episode. Uh, Quitsmith episode A news. Uh, it's episode 25 of Quitstalling. We will see you guys in the next Quitsmith episode uh, in a couple of days because you will be hearing that in a couple of days. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.
this episode of Quit Songs has been brought to you by the Quit Stalling Studios Network. <laughs> Podcast Network. Um, find more on www.quitstalling.us. Get off your butt and do something good. <laughs>